Do you want to know why certain explanations just click while others leave you scratching your head? Today, I'll share with you a powerful teaching hack that will make your explanations unforgettable. If you ever want to create any educational presentation using PowerPoint, then you cannot afford to leave any part of this video. Let us jump right in. Before that, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. Let us say you want some furniture for your house, visit the IKEA store, buy a product and get it to your home and you start to unpack so you can start assembling. Now, when you pull out the instructional sheet from inside the box, you get something like this. Now, what will be your first reaction? Would you even have the courage to start the assembly? I doubt it. Now, what if you had an instructional sheet that looked like this? Pretty easy on the eye. You almost want to start the assembly immediately, isn't it? Now, why do you think that this instruction is far simpler compared to this? Think about it. Now, scene two. Let us say you visit a coffee shop and someone hands over this menu card to you. Will you feel like placing an order immediately? Chances are that you might be a little confused. Now, what if the same set of items are presented like this? Isn't it far more inviting? There is a high chance that you might find it much easier to place your order because the information is organized like this. So what is the difference between this and this? Think about it. Now, scene three. In the same coffee shop, you meet a business associate. You want to keep in touch with him and therefore ask for his number. He pulls out a paper napkin and then writes down his number like this. Now, how likely is it for you to remember this number? Now, instead of writing the number like this, he decides to write it like this. Isn't this much easier to remember? Now, what is the difference between this number and this number? In each of these cases, the simpler, clearer and easy to process alternative all followed one simple principle called the segmenting principle. It is a powerful learning and teaching hack that makes your information easy to process. So what is the segmenting principle? According to Richard Mayer, who is the author of this wonderful book called Cognitive Theory of Multimedia Learning, people learn better when information is presented in user-paced segments rather than as a continuous unit. In plain English, don't overwhelm your audience by presenting everything all at once. Instead, break the information into logical, verbal and visual chunks so your audience can absorb the information one piece at a time. Now, let me share a practical example of applying the segmenting principle to improve the clarity of your presentation. Now, this is one of the slides I took from a popular slide sharing site. The slide explains liver. Now, see how everything is presented in one place and see how confusing and intimidating the information is. Now, if you're used to seeing slides like this, then this slide might not really shock you. But then, once you see the improved version of this information, then the difference in clarity might shock you. Now, take a look at the information here, bit by bit. At the face of it, it might seem like everything is about liver and therefore there is no need for us to split the information, right? Now, if you take a closer look, this piece of text is actually a collection of four different points. Now, what is the first point about? It answers the question of what is the size of the liver. The second one talks about the structure of liver. The third one talks about the location of the liver. And the fourth one talks about the functioning of the liver. So these four points are all dumped together in one piece here. Now, take a look at the benefit of putting each of those points in its own slide. Here is the first slide. All it says is the same text. I have not changed any part of the text. It says liver is the largest glandular organ of the body and weighs three pounds. And here is a beautiful visual that supports the point. Now, after explaining this first point, the presenter moves to the next one. The second point says liver is divided into four lobes of unequal size and shape. And you can see the four divisions. Once the presenter finishes explaining this, he goes to the third point, which is about the location of the liver. 
and this 3D visual very clearly shows where the liver is placed in the body. Once the explanation is finished, he goes to the final point which says, blood is carried to liver via hepatic artery and portal vein. And here is a visual that supports the claim. And the explanation is finished with this sub point which says, hepatic artery carries oxygen rich blood from aorta. See, it is the same information, but then instead of presenting everything in one slide, the presenter had broken down the information into four separate slides and you can see the clarity in information. Now compare this slide to these set of slides. Aren't these much easier to process? But then there is a disease that is prevalent among presenters that prevents them from using segmenting principle in their presentations. And that disease is one slide syndrome. Somehow they feel if they have fewer slides in their deck, their presentation is going to be shorter. Nothing is more silly than this assumption. Now think about this. The time it takes for me to explain all the four points in one slide is exactly the same as the time it takes for me to explain the points in four different slides. Now as a presenter, I know there are four distinct points on the slide and naturally I need to spend the time to explain each of those points. The only difference is in this information dump, I present my information and leave the rest of the information on my slide. Now what does that do? It makes my audience want to read the rest of the text and switch off. They don't stay with me anymore. Now instead, if I present my information one slide at a time, I make it easy for them to focus on the individual points. Every time I hit enter, I reveal a new piece of information that sustains the interest. And therefore, my audience stays with my explanation from start to finish. Now, for this to work, you need a total shift in your mindset. Stop counting the number of slides. Start seeing how effective will be your communication if you were to present the information in individual small chunks rather than as one lump of text. Now, there is one other powerful reason why you need to use segmenting principle in designing your slides. Let us say a teacher wants to talk about the five causes of climatic change. She can always present a slide like this and talk about each of the points. But then she is missing out on one powerful channel of communication, the visual channel. When you are presenting your information just like this, there is not enough place here to explain your ideas visually. Now instead, if I were to allocate each of the points to its own slide, see the difference. I say there are five reasons why climate change is happening today. Let us explore each one of them in detail. Then I click and take them to the first point, which is greenhouse gases, explain the point, and then I move to the second point, show them the visual, see how the visual is supporting whatever I am saying, and therefore adds strength to my explanation and makes the information memorable. Once I finish this, I go to the next one, and then to the next one, and then to the next one. And once I finish talking about all the five points, I summarize with just the visual cues like this. Now, isn't this a far better way to present your list rather than as a list of bullet points? Now, from presentation process, we have two products that help you make presentations with impact. One is comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, which is a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that are all designed keeping learning principles in mind. So these set of templates are very different from the kind of templates that you see in the market. Another product is our PowerPoint Mastery Program, which is actually a collection of 42 PowerPoint training courses in one place. You will not only learn all the insider tips and tricks about PowerPoint, but also learn how to design your slide deck with impact. So if you are a professional who needs to make an impact with your presentations, then this combo is really a useful resource for you. In the meantime, if you are an educator and you want to up your presentation game, then we have a playlist for you. It starts with this video. It also has 29 other videos that help you improve your teaching presentations. I'll see you inside that video next.